All right there guys, how you doing? It's been a super wet weekend here in Guernsey. But that hasn't stopped me having fun. I know that lots of you who watch these vlogs here in Guernsey, you come here for your summer holidays. But this is what it's like in winter when it's raining. Look at this, just wet. And apparently it's just gonna rain like this for days and days to come, according to the weather forecast. So I thought I'd tell you quickly what I get up to on a wet weekend in Guernsey. So it's Friday evening in Guernsey. You have no idea what to do because it's raining. Well, my advice, go straight to your nearest pub and go to their meat drawer. Don't call it a meat raffle, by the way, call it a meat drawer. What they do is a butcher or someone, some kind of organizer will come along, they'll stick a load of uh, meat out on a table and then you buy raffle tickets, basically. I've seen them for as cheap as two pounds before. Typically, maybe you might pay a fiver for a strip of tickets, something like that. And then they will just draw out all of these numbers and one by one you go up and you choose a piece of meat to eat over the weekend I guess and it's raw meat you know it's not cooked meat it's all raw so it'll be like mince, uh, a whole chicken, pork chops all of that kind of thing great stuff I love it I look even on a rainy weekend like this look the port in St Peter Port is still beautiful and that looks like the ferry going off to Hearn down there the people here are so friendly they've really taken me under their wing really feel like a true Gurn, almost. You'll never feel quite like a true Channel Islander if you come here. But, yeah, the people are so friendly, so uh, get to know the locals. This is Candy Gardens I've just walked through, by the way. Beautiful area, great place to go and uh, look out over the English Channel and the other islands. You can see Herm and Sark, and even on a clear day, Alderney from here. And Jersey as well, actually. I think I've seen Jersey from here as well. Great place to see all the other islands, basically. And then on Saturday, I like to go to the gym. Uh, we've got a great leisure centre here, it's called Beau Séjour. I mean, people say, why do you want to go there? You know, it's, it's just the common leisure centre, but actually it's really nice, it's got a good gym, uh, it's got a swimming pool, sauna, all of this kind of stuff, and it only costs me 15 quid a week. So even if you're coming here as a visitor, you can go along, ask for a casual membership, you can go in there, go to the gym, go to the swimming pool, even attend classes like spinning class, for instance, there are a few other classes you can attend as well. So that's a really good idea as well on a wet weekend here in Guernsey. Oh, I wish I'd worn my waterproof boots. My feet are soaked already. Channel Island weather, look at this. Still beautiful though. And so, you've been to the gym, you know, you've kind of exhausted your possibilities there. Maybe you've been out for dinner somewhere, gone to one of the local pubs for a bit of food, like uh, the Delarue. Obviously, I always go on about the Delarue, but there are plenty of other good places to eat around here. And then, what do you do? You go to the pub again and you do karaoke. That's what I really like here. It's a, it's a way of life which is, I wouldn't say simpler, but it's a way of life where you're easily satisfied. I, I certainly feel that way since I've come here. I'm happy with the little things in life. So doing a bit of karaoke, find a pub that's got some karaoke on. These days, you can uh, get pretty much any song you want, thanks to YouTube or whatever, and go and sing your heart out. My go-to, Around the World by Red Hot Chili Peppers. You ever noticed the old post office is now like a pound shop, J&M stores. This is the centre of St Peter Port, by the way. Obviously very empty. It's Sunday afternoon, about five o'clock. So all the shops are shut already. They are allowed to open on a Sunday, but many of them choose not to, to maintain that kind of village uh, characteristic that Sunday's the day of rest. So yeah, you've done your karaoke on Saturday night and then Sunday, you're just gonna rest, basically. Maybe go to the pub, go get a nice roast somewhere. Even on a wet weekend like this, you can still go for a little walk out on the seafront, especially in St Peter Port. Here we go, the North Pier steps. Actually, this is where I ended my last video, which I finished editing yesterday, isn't it? Yeah, but we're at the other end. So yeah, even if it's wet, you can still go out for a little walk, like I'm doing now. There'll always be a bit of Premier League football on as well that you can go and watch, and uh, the locals who, for some reason, will support Manchester United or Liverpool, even though they live in this small island in the English Channel, nowhere near Manchester or Liverpool. I saw something quite funny a few days ago actually, there was uh, some guy over from Manchester here in St Peterport and he was in the pub uh, watching, it was the, what is it called, the uh, League Cup final, they call it the Carabao Cup, shout out to Panos, we love Carabao don't we? Yeah and so this guy he was uh, telling uh, the pub how he used to be a season ticket holder at Manchester United basically 
and uh, this guy goes, well, I'm in the Guernsey Manchester United fan club and it was, the response was like so underwhelming. The guy, the guy from Manchester just looked at him like, all right, cool. But if you do like a bit of football, go down to Foots Lane. That's where I like to go. Foots Lane, watch Guernsey FC in the Isthmian League. That's a great place to go. Even on a wet day, you can go down there. There's no home game this weekend, so I didn't do that this uh, weekend. But you can go down to Foots Lane and watch the football down there. I really enjoy that. It's a really nice way of getting to know the community, meet some of the locals. There's a bar that you can go in as well, so you can actually have a pint whilst you're watching the match, which is a really rare thing for us from the UK because you can't take your pint into the game. At Gillingham, for example. You can also go watch the Guernsey Raiders as well if they're at home and they play at exactly the same stadium at Foots Lane. And to be honest, the rugby here is a bit more fun than the football. Don't tell anyone I said that. So yeah, that's what I get up to on a wet weekend here in Guernsey. I had planned to do a little vlog for you. I was going to go and visit one of the other islands today, but the weather was so bad I had to rain it off. So instead I thought I'd do just this quick little one so you still get a bit of content this week. So yeah, there you go. Meat draw, gym, football, rugby. You can go to the museums as well, of course, but barely any of them are open at this time of year. Like over there at the fort. Right, guys. Uh, it's a bit wet, so I'm going to get back home and, uh, yeah, change into something dry. Take care. Well, I'll just show you this quickly as well. Look at what the tide is like here. We're coming up for the spring tides now, and look, these boats are all pretty much out of the water already. Look, it's just a... Uh, clean the lens sorry I know that the lens is going to be all wet that's because it's raining wow and there's the travel trident to Herm been a bit of controversy apparently with uh, the ferries to and from Herm all right over and out guys from St Peterport very wet take care